How did they make a Class A motorhome under 25 feet? <laughs> I'll show you. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. Today we're doing a walkthrough on this amazing motorhome. It's the Access 24.4 by Thor Motor Coach, and it's a really cool layout for being at 25 feet. Now it's on a Ford gasoline motor, and if this is the first time you've seen one of my walkthrough videos, there won't be a bunch of editing or a bunch of magic tricks. It's just me walking around the motorhome and talking about it. That simple. Okay, so <clears throat> pardon my coughing. Allergies starting to kick up, so you might hear some sniffles too. But this particular one has an awning topper, which I love. I like that it keeps all the dirt, debris, and rain out of the top of the slide. Keeps your seals nice. So if it's something you don't have on your motorhome or don't have on your travel trailer, you might want to invest in it just in case. It does have a big full wall slide. It has an outside shower, a black tank flush. It is a 30 amp coach, which means it'll have one air conditioner, roof ladder, power awning, six gallon hot water heater, and frameless windows. Now going inside, okay, we're gonna shut the door to keep all the noise from the street out. By the way, if you do enjoy the way I do these videos, please make, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, like most Class A motorhomes, it does have the electronic drop-down bunk bed. It has the chairs that actually spin around, so it gives you more seating when you're at the campsite. Uh, this one does have a generator and nightshades up front here, so it does have an electronic nightshade. It has curtains on each side window for your privacy. Ooh, my sniffles are starting to come up. Okay, booth dinette with cabinets above that also converts into a bed for one to two people, depending on the size of that person. Pull out drawers. Now, if you have seen my videos prior, you understand, I'd rather have a small pull out drawer than the cabinet door. I just like it being more convenient that I can pull, pull out the drawer and grab what I need out of it rather than hunting for it by reaching my hand out and moving things around. That's just my opinion. You let me know in the comments section how you feel. Ooh, it's hard to breathe. Okay, you even have, that's something very unusual for a motorhome. They have actual power outlet underneath the dinette. That's convenient. I like that. That's actually really cool. Deep cabinets for your plates, bowls, things of that nature. Oh, look at that, another power outlet. Woo, didn't know about that, that's pretty cool. You got your command module, extra area for prep. Actually, this is a pretty big countertop for a small little motorhome. That's, that's pretty good, I actually like that. I do like the deeper sink here. Again, I can clean out a pot for chili or pasole. Mm. Now, I'm not gonna open it up, but you can see there's storage behind the TV. That is in bad for your pots or not, uh, your plates and bowls. Not bad, I like the kitchen storage, that's not bad. Two burner, convection microwave. I like the drawers. This is really nice. These actually glide out really nice. Very smooth. I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh-oh, somebody knocked down the trash can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to be a little silly. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but that is actually a Murphy bed. That's probably how they got so much uh, counter space and kitchen space there. It's actually pretty good use of it. So looks like a 12 volt refrigerator. It's pretty deep and nice. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's some good deep closet space. I'm liking that. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't like the Murphy bed set up a little bit, but now I understand why they put a Murphy bed inside a motor home. Especially if you want a smaller, something 
more easy to drive and handle. You still need storage, especially if you're gonna go out for a couple weeks. If you saw my Kachuma Lake video, it's kind of nice to have a small motor home right on the lake. Okay, now we're in the bathroom. Jesus Christ, I mean, you could literally like put hangable clothes for days. Good Lord. Look at all the drawers and all the storage. This is insanity. I mean, literally you could get pretty creative in here with what you want to use. Eh, counter space is whatever, but I'm bad. Toilet's in a good spot. It's actually lifted up. So for some of us that are over five foot 11, nice shower. I'm guys, I'm pleasantly surprised. I haven't seen this floor plan in person yet. I am pleasantly surprised. You can always, he, here's what I think. You can always use the drop down bunk as your primary bed and not fool around with the Murphy bed if you don't want to. I mean, I, I literally could see someone doing that. I could see someone literally only using the dinette as a bed too. This is pretty cool. I'm I am pleasantly shocked. I'm not the biggest fan of Thor motorhomes. I am not. Not at all. I've always felt like they're very cookie cutter and they have no imagination. But this isn't bad. Holy cow. Okay. So now in the top right hand corner of this video, you're going to see another detailed walkthrough on a Class A motorhome I just did. And just remember, guys, that RV stands for toolkit and sense of humor.